Today we've got a very special star, Pat Phoenix from Coronation Street. She's at St Peter's and St Paul's Parish Church in Crosby near Liverpool. So let's get off and find our final resting place of this mega star from Coronation Street that I used to love. Oh, I loved the old programme when I was a kid because I had no choice. I used to watch it with my parents. No choice at all. Patricia Phoenix Booth was born Patricia Frederick Mansfield on the 26th of November 1923. She died on the 17th of September 1986. She was an English actress who became one of the first sex symbols of British television. Her role as Elsie Tanner was one of the original cast members and she portrayed that from 1960 until 1984. She had a small break in the middle, I think um, it was 1973-76, but you know, overall 24 years, a long time, she was one of the original ones. A character was killed off on screen in 2004 and it was mentioned on the actual set. As part of the Coronation Street 40th anniversary, celebrations in 2000 the blue plaques were unveiled and on these blue plaques they had four different characters and Pat was one of them. The other ones were Doris Speed, Brian Mosley and Violet Carson all you know really original and top members of Coronation Street. Well I actually appeared as an extra a few times on Coronation Street and if you can imagine it's first time it's really bizarre um, by the way, if any of you are interested in extra work and you want to ask me any questions, what it's like and how much fun it is and how much you get paid, just ask me. You know, I did it for quite a few years. I was an electrician on the film called Fanny and Elvis and while I was there, the uh, local agent gave me some work because I wasn't doing the electrics all the time and there we go, I did about five years, I think. Did most of the soaps, most of the programmes. And it's good, but on Coronation Street, you were underneath the arches and that, in that, you know that scene at the end of the street near the shop and that's where all the makeup was done and things like that. The stars were on one side and those extras were in the sort of middle bit. But um, it was good fun. You know, sometimes it could be boring. Um, but overall you had some special days. It's well worth trying, you know. And if you're interested, contact me. I'll, I'll try and help you out. Um, and on this day, Coronation Street, it was weird because the first scene I did, I goes down the street, this, this Ken Barlow, and then, <laughs> which is a bit weird, isn't it? I was stood in an arch there with Emily Nugent, and uh, I stood there for quite a lot of their morning doing this scene, you know, and, <laughs> you know, you watch these people when you're growing up and it's really weird. It's, it's, it's bizarre. I've got loads of stories like that, actually. I'll bring a few out when I'm looking around because they're all true and accurate. Right, now, I know it's near the top end, near the red brick wall, so I'm just going to swing it round, and we're going to have, a, gonna have a, a look. It's not, oh god, there we are, right at the top, look. Easy peasy, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go, Pat Phoenix. She was a fiery character, wasn't she, with Len Fairclough and all those characters, and she was known for being sort of like the sex symbol, and you wouldn't take her on. <laughs> Pat Phoenix Booth, 1923 to 1986, beloved wife of Tony. And on this side, we've got the main bit. Look, it's just, usually the way around, isn't it? There we are. Can you see all right? Hope you can. In loving memory of George Henry Booth, beloved husband of Vera, devoted father of Tony, Audrey, and Bob. They had the 6th of September 1968, aged 61 years. To live on in the hearts of those we love is not to die. Mary Vera Booth, 2003, 1987. Beloved wife and mother, grand, grand and great grandmother. Oh, that's very nice. It's just a, I mean, it's been here a long time, hasn't it? But it's a little bit uh, dishevelled, but but what a character she was. A definite pat for pat, you did a great job on Coronation Street. Yeah, I mean, I met a few of them. Brian Mosley, when I was a teenager, um, I used to have a part-time job in a garage in Bradford, and he used to come in and get his petrol, so that's before I ever did any TV extra work. He was a nice guy. He died in Shipley, and uh, outside one of the shops here. I think he died of an heart attack. 
course it was in Get Carter wasn't it with Michael Caine you know you know when he threw him off the uh, off the car park the multi-story car park that's our beloved park there and here she is in a lovely quiet little graveyard it's very very they often are secluded out there but it's very nice Yeah, Coronation Street in Six is very iconic, wasn't it? My mother and father used to watch it, so you know, um, you had no choice really. Like the biggest show, wasn't it? And uh, Pat was such a big figure. She was uh, uh, Len Fairclough as well. Very, very dominant characters. Of course, Ina Sharples. Wow, she was a, a toughie, wasn't she? And then. Uh, Emily Nugent, the one I stood with in the doorway. <laughs> she was a bit, a little bit namby pamby, but. Um, and then we had, um, what's the other ones now? I'm trying to think. Of course, Doris Speed, who played the landlady. Wow, what a figure she was. Fantastic. So, yeah, what a program it was. What a program. I'm trying to think of the other character as well. There's another one in there that I always used to think was amazing. Um, Hilda Ogden. Hilda Ogden. Who could forget Hilda Ogden? Stan Ogden. Crikey. Or oh, the singing. Oh, the singing when she used to do the singing. <laughs> and the ducks on the wall. <laughs> Eddie Yates. Of course, I met him uh, when he was on Heartbeat. So, yeah, great program. Fantastic. So don't forget, as we always say, subscribe and ding the bell for the new ones, the new films. And a thumbs up and a comment would be great. Any questions, I love, I love to see you now. It's really nice when people write to you because you get to know the names and you kind of get to know them after a while. It's like a, a little family is each channel. So I enjoy that. So take care from me, Alan. I'll see you soon on the next one. Bye for now.